Good Saturday afternoon, everybody. It's time to get a little something going on. I'm on the stove because I don't uh, feel like eating just something cold and not nutritious and not good today. I'm going to go ahead and cook something fast and furious. Y'all know I'm on my fast and furious quest these days as far as cooking. I'm trying to stay out of the kitchen as much as I can during these hot, hot days. It's still hot here. I'm trying not to turn the oven on. Because I know I have to do a big deal on Sunday. So, here we go. I'm going to cook um, something I've never done before. I've got some processed food going on. Today. This gonna be, we're going to call this processed food Saturday, okay? All right. So, I got some flatbread Angus cheeseburgers. They're supposed to be all natural flatbread pockets. They show them just like that. And they look pretty much like that. This is what they look like. They're fully cooked. They're frozen. And they have to be um, heated in the microwave. So all I got to do these, they're already in the dish. I'm going to put them in the microwave, I think, for a couple of minutes. I think it's 35 seconds per hot pocket. So you figure um, uh, about two or three minutes is going to go ahead and heat these like they need to be. What I like to do with mine is just let them thaw out a little bit, then put them in to the uh, microwave so you don't have to let them stay in there so long i've tried these before kareem excuse me kareem loves them we tried them one night last week they worked really well 14 in a box i think sam's must have been running these on sale maybe for 10 or 11 dollars either way 10 15 dollars for something like this and they taste really really good y'all they honestly do um and i'm going to be using uh, my second processed food item. We can do this every once in a while. We don't do this that often. Southern style waffle fries. These are like the ones they serve and sell that y'all eat up at Chick-fil-A all the time. Y'all know y'all Chick-fil-A folk love these uh, waffle fries. So we're going to do some waffle fries and then I'm going to get healthy on them all over here. I'm going to go ahead and do us of course a pan of uh, stir fried veggies, broccoli cauliflower, some uh, sweet peppers. I'm going to put some carrots in it. But I'm going to start those carrots out first. The carrots take a little bit longer to cook. And we'll do that so our uh, broccoli and cauliflower won't get mushy. So we'll start those with cooking and let them be cooking while the fries are going. And of course we'll do the uh, cheeseburger pockets lots because they are they're only going to take a couple minutes. I think I'm going to put a um, piece of uh, saran wrap over here. Well, the spoon wants to jump all over the stove, y'all. Okay, I'm going to put just a piece of saran wrap over this before I put them into the microwave and do it for three minutes and they'll be ready. So, over here, I'm going to go ahead and get my um, waffle fries started. I can set these off to the side now. To get my waffle fries started, I've got some uh, over there, my big old skillet. Let's get it down here where you can see my big skillet. This is just some cooking oil and some olive oil. Got to heat it up real good. And I am going to uh, just go ahead and throw those uh, fries into the pan. I'm not going to season them before I put them in because as soon as I take, start taking them out. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll take that back. I am going to season them somewhat before I put them into the skillet, or as they're cooking, I should say, because I want them well seasoned. Y'all know me in the seasoning. Got to have a season. And as you can see, it seems like they might have, I don't know if they cook these at all, but anyway, they got some of the skin on them, but these are the authentic uh, fries that they use at Chick-fil-A. So, just going to go ahead and drop in that hot grease, or hot oil, and just let them start cooking. I don't really eat a lot of these, because I'm just going to do a lot of fried Fried chicken, yeah. The fries I don't do a lot of. But I will eat some today now because this is going to be our dinner for today. And we'll probably have a shake later on. We're still trying to do what's right and, you know, eat somewhat healthy. Let me go ahead. I'm supposed to put my season on here, aren't I? And the basic season that I want to get on there, y'all know, is my complete season. It's going to be some well seasoned oil. So, not to worry though. Before they go in the mouth, they will be seasoned, y'all. So, I get quite a few in it still. I got my big skillet going, so. 
Okay, let me get my spoon here. Okay. This is on high heat, y'all. You know, you put fries on high heat. And they're pretty much deep fried. You know, I, I like to fry with olive oil because olive oil gives your food that kind of a buttery, it's just a different flavor that olive oil has. Anyway, whatever that is, the, the, you know, the taste of the pure olive oil just adds extra to it. So we got everything going here. And uh, this is going to be one of those under 30 minute meals simply because today is Saturday. We don't want to fry this kitchen up. And I, cause I, and I know on Saturday, I normally don't cook a whole lot of anything. I usually have leftovers of some sort of, do some hot dogs or maybe some turkey burgers, which I love. But I decided we'll switch it up this Saturday because I wanted to show y'all these little uh, Angus burgers. They are good. I recommend them highly. Let me show it one more time. So I'm going to throw this box away. They're they are a sandwich bro Ooh, how about that sandwich brothers? Okay. And they're just simply called flatbread Angus cheeseburgers. So if you're in Sam's Club or, or somebody some other places may sell these. I'm not sure. I just happened to see these the other day and I thought, you know what? I like a good burger every once in a while, so I gave these a chance and I did not go wrong. So and remember these, uh, let me show you all these potatoes again. This is something, these are members marked, by the way. These are the waffle fries, of course. Okay, members marked waffle fries. Okay. okay, these carrots are coming along nicely. So what are y'all doing today? Are you shopping? Are you relaxing? I'm relaxing today, honey. Believe that, I'm really relaxing. I've had sort of a, a, a what I call a slow week in terms of doing a lot of stuff. I've been working on uh, reupholstering a uh, little set tee that I'll be revealing to y'all here shortly. And my hold up on that is that my staple gun quit on me. So now i got to invest in a new staple gun. I had an electric one. I don't try to use the, uh, the you know, the, the ones that you use by pressing it with your own strength. My hands have the strength, but I don't like to use that kind of strength. So I'm going to go to Lowe's, I guess, and purchase another one um, so that I can get my upholstery work done. I started videoing a couple of nights ago, but then, like I said, I had to stop. So um, we'll get it done. Okay, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and start putting my seasonings on my veg well, I'll just throw them in the pan here and get them started. Okay. This is going to be a, a 15 minutes worth of uh, cooking. Okay. And we've done this together many, many times. All my usual seasonings go in here. Get me some black pepper. About a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And that's about a pound of veggies in there, by the way. Get me a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. And about a half a teaspoon of my lemon pepper seasoning. It's always good on these veggies. And then toward the end, I'm going to throw in some butter. In the pan to start it out with, I've got a fourth of a cup of uh, olive oil, so go ahead and that butter and olive oil going on in there. This always smells so good. They just hit the pan and they got the whole kitchen smelling like this great big old gourmet meal. Okay, so now we're going to let those just go ahead and continue to cook uh, for 15 minutes. We're doing this in real time today, so I guess I'm just going to do my favorite thing to do besides cooking is talk to y'all. So y'all talk back to me and let me know what you're doing. If you got anything planned for the day, what you got planned for tomorrow. Oh, and what about this weather? I have not uh, been weather watching like I should. Okay, I'm going to go with my tablespoon of uh, complete season. Y'all know I have to get that on there. Um, 
about a tablespoon of complete season needs to go on here. Okay, um, I don't even know the new name of that new hurricane yet that's stirring up out there. I guess I didn't, I saw the tail end of that report and I sort of didn't focus in on the name, but we do know, we are aware. I hope that there is a hurricane once again brewing out in the waters, you know, and prayerfully it won't hit any of us at all. But more than that, we pray corporately and in our hearts and with our most fervent prayers that the Bahamas does not get hit again because they are already devastated from Dorian, Hurricane Dorian, and many other places throughout uh, that were, you know, uh, along the way. But most certainly, Lord, we just continue to keep the prayers lifted up that these places that are already devastated won't get any more devastation. And even if they do, we pray the will of God for those areas, for those families, if, if they lost someone, if they lost their possessions, or whatever is going on. We just pray God's grace and mercy over those people in those areas. So, again, we just continue to pray without ceasing for all things. Um, uh, one of the things that I was praying for, I'll share with you this morning, or in my prayer time, I was praying for reconciliation among uh, family members, brothers and sisters, or uh, mothers and fathers, or, you know, mothers and daughters, fathers and sons. I started out praying for reconciliation between fathers and sons, and as I went on into the prayer, uh, I was just led to include uh, mothers and daughters and um, just friends and in relationships, in marriages. Well, we have those unforgiven uh, things that have happened. We don't have to rehash, just forgive. Because as long as we hold those things and either don't make the attempt to forgive or pretend that we have forgiven, but we're still carrying them in our heart, we are never going to move forward because the Word of God tells us that we have to forgive if we want to be forgiven. And most certainly, whatever things we do and want our Heavenly Father to forgive us, we have to have forgiven our sisters and brothers. So just keep those things in mind. That, that, that was just my, um, that was just in the head of my prayer this morning. As I was thanking God also, one of the things that was just uh, really heavy laying upon me this morning was to think, was thanking God for where I am today at 70 years old based on where I was when I was a five-year-old, that's as far four or five years old as far I can remember uh, back is four or five years old. And I thought, Lord, thank you from that little old girl that grew up in a poor family but survived a loving family. Um, but here I am today where I can share. God has blessed me with things. He's blessed me with people, experiences all kinds of things and I thank God that I, I can pray I can share a prayer I can share uh, I can break bread I can I can do things for my family and have done things for my family at times financially don't have no whole but then never have no whole bunch still ain't got no whole bunch but I've always had enough to share let's put it like that so I thank God that he has kept me there because as a little girl I can always remember I always wanted to share and I still love to share and I also thank God that he has kept me that I've tried to be an honest person and you know speak the truth I ain't, I ain't saying I ain't never told a lie so don't don't nobody start trying to check me on that one please but what I am saying as often as possible to my knowledge I've tried to be honest and truthful and straightforward and honest with people because I believe what the word says, that the truth will set you free. And I think if I tell the truth about it, it's going to free you up. It's going to free me up. So I just thank God this morning. Oh, Lord knows I was thanking him up a storm this morning. Just thanking him for where I am. And I can uh, thank him for where I'm going. I'm adding a little bit more of the rest, rather, of my... Uh, complete season to my potatoes here, okay? So, again, I'm just, you know, just want to come on this morning and 
share with y'all, rather this afternoon, share with y'all my little afternoon excursion here in the kitchen. All my uh, processed food. So, y'all know, honey, we have to do what we have to do every once in a while. So, this is what I chose to do today. And I try to keep it as healthy as possible. I try not to go overboard with the processed food. But, y'all know what it be. Um, and I think the most processed food thing I'm eating here is going to be those burgers, and I'm only going to eat the equivalent of a one burger. I'll eat two, two of those, and they're kind of filling as well. Um, so if, if you're inclined to eat processed food, if you don't like processed food or can't eat it, then just skip it, and uh, maybe you can eat the potatoes and the veggies, I don't know, or maybe you can't eat potatoes, maybe you can eat the veggies, or if you can't eat anything that I'm prepared uh, just wish us well as we eat, those of us who can eat, or those of us who like this kind of food. But this is something that I don't do every day of the week, like I said, because I never, I don't like, because this is, this is like fast food, but at the same time, it's what we're going to eat today. Okay, so, hold on just a minute, I need to get me a pan for my potatoes, because they've been frying for, let's see, as long as I've been talking to you, about 15 minutes, they're just about ready. So this is in real time now, so hold on for me. Okay, that just took me a couple minutes what I was doing. I had to get me a lid. I went ahead and put me a lid over the veggies because I want them to steam just slightly because there are some big, thick pieces. Because um, you cook them too long, you know, trying to get the stem parts cooked. It's going to make the other parts mushy, so I don't, I don't like mushy stuff. So, I'm going to uh, let them go. Let's see how many minutes have we, we got. About, we're about 16 minutes in. we got about 10, 12 more minutes. I'm almost ready to take these fries off. Um, they're cooking faster than I anticipated as well. So, Again, you know, uh, like I was saying about uh, about <clears throat> praying for each other, praying for things seen and not seen. That's what we got to continue to do. Pray without ceasing. Keep each other lifted up. Giving God all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Uh, again, I thank y'all as usual for praying with me, for giving me feedback. Oh, that water's getting cold. Uh... And, you know, as I always say, to God be all the glory for the great things that he has done. So anything that I pray and that comes into fruition, we give God the glory. I give God the glory for his word that I have a word to pray unto him on anybody's behalf. That's always been a thing for me all of my life as long as I can remember. Even when I was going astray, prayer was always one of those Number one things on my list, Lord help me, mm, Lord help me, so, uh, uh, messed up, help me Lord, help me Lord. Okay, I need to get me some uh, plastic wrap for my burgers, be right back. Okay, got it, I'm going to go ahead and get these fries, I don't like them too crispy. Start taking them out. And of course, you see, I, I, I'm taking them out into a uh, pan with uh, a paper towel to drain that oil off of them. We'll just go ahead and get them out and we'll let you see them when they come on out. And I'm, I, when they, once they get out, though, I'm going to hit them with a little bit of sea salt. I love that sea salt. Y'all knew the phone was going to ring, didn't it? Had, didn't it? I'm telling you, not too many times I can get in the kitchen that my phone doesn't ring. Let me catch this, y'all. Okay, I'm back. That was my little sister. Oh, she's going to call me back. Anywho, I got the fries out of the pan. Of course, I still got my veggies going. I'm going to check in on them, see what they're doing, see what they're looking like. Yeah, they're looking good. And all I'm doing is just let them steam a little bit. They got a little bit of juice in the bottom of the pan. They're doing good. They didn't, you know, get overly steamed in too much water. I don't like a lot of water. I like that 
flavor to just stay in there. And the other thing that I've been doing that just seems like it's just been taking my veggies to another level is to sprinkle them with a little, maybe a fourth of a teaspoon. Yeah, about a fourth of a teaspoon. Even, you know, if your mouth can take more heat, you can put a half a teaspoon, but I wouldn't suggest putting too much more than that because you don't want to take away from the enjoyment. But about a good half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Uh, I got me a big thing over from the health food store. So, yeah, just hit them with that uh, crushed red pepper. It just ups the ante on the flavor, y'all. And I believe that they're well seasoned already. And I believe these veggies, about two or three minutes, and they'll be ready to go. And then what I'm going to do also is... Uh, just let them sit on the stove and, and, and just do what they do for a few minutes. I think everything is probably, you can taste that one right there and see. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Yummy. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all noticed at the end there. Woo, child. I got strangled a little bit. I, I taste it. A little piece of that veggie forgot I had put that pepper on there. And honey, if I take wind in right quick, I get strangled right quick. So anyway, y'all be careful if y'all do the coarse red pepper because it's not really a hot, hot thing, but it'll get you strangled if you go the wrong way down your throat. I'll tell you that right now. Woo! <clears throat> Don't you hate it because you, you get strangled like that? I just start praying immediately because I'm thinking that's a bad feeling to get where you feel like you can't breathe and can't catch your breath, child, please. Whew. So, anywho, the veggies are ready. I'm going to go ahead and cover them <coughs> and pretty much take them off the heat. Now, I'm going to prepare to put in my um, cheeseburger pita pockets. I got my, um, as you can see, I've got the fries off. Got the veggies off. And now I'm getting ready. I'm going to put these in. It, the directions on the box does not tell you. This is just me, y'all. I'm just going to do this because I want to brush mine with a little bit of butter. So I, want, I don't want them to. I don't want mine crunchy. I want them soft like bread. So I'm going to put these in for approximately two and a half minutes. Because it's like 35 seconds per one. <coughs> two minutes and 30 seconds is what I'm putting them in on my fries are good and crispy and crunchy they are wonderful y'all but I'm going to cover them because I want them to sort of calm down a little bit I don't like too much crunch on them those veggies are smelling good y'all but like I said you can have this meal uh, prepped and on the table I'll say uh, now the cooking time has taken me so far a little over 20 minutes the prep time, you know, to get the veggies cut up and seasoned, you know, to get everything out, give it five minutes. So we'll call it prep time because there was not a lot of prep uh, to this meal. You know, we didn't have to peel the potatoes. We didn't have to chop the veggies and all that kind of stuff that was already done. So, <clears throat> so start to finish 30 minutes, you can be sitting down with something cold to drink. Drink a choice today for us is going to be some cold, cold water with a squirt of lemon and I do that every once in a while just to clean the palate so that's what I'm going to do today uh, we're going to sit back relax and enjoy this meal in about another minute or so uh, when you hear that uh, microwave go off I will be done uh, and we're going to you know just sit down and we're going to call it a day again hope you are doing something that you like today hope y'all got something on the stove if it's nothing but a chili dog now y'all remember that chili I made the other day that was a kind. Let me tell you, I hit the mark on that chili. It was all. It was chili that you could eat with those cheese biscuits and crackers, or however, or just some over rice or whatever. But it had enough of a tang to it that it's going to be great on some hot dogs later on. Because I've got enough left that I'm going to freeze and we're going to do hot dogs. We'll do chili dogs one day. So uh, now that I got 45 seconds left, I'm going to check these burgers just to make sure. I don't know 
what I'm thinking, I don't need to leave them in there all that time. It's got 40 seconds left because I don't want to make these chewy. They feel hot enough for me, so I got them out. <coughs> Excuse me, I got them out of the microwave. And I'm going to get them ready to brush the tops with some butter. And we're going to be ready to eat these babies here shortly. This is sort of a late lunch, early dinner. If we get home for something else later on, we're just going to do some shakes or something like that. Or, you know, chips and dip. I do that quite often on a Saturday because Kareem will probably be in and out of here. And, and I'm not, I have to tell you, I'm not a great big eater to begin with. Y'all, trust me, I'm not. So, let me get some butter to brush the tops. Um, <clears throat> I'm on the other side of the room. Hope you can still hear me. Um... I already got a container of butter here. I'm just going to melt it down just a little bit. Yeah, I, re I will use those remaining 40 seconds to melt my butter. Uh, again, hope y'all having a God-blessed Saturday. Uh, getting ready for whatever you're going to do tomorrow. Get out and enjoy the sunshine. Y'all know summer's almost at an end, so if you haven't taken a vacation, I hope you get a chance to. We certainly haven't not taken a vacation vacation, but... Hopefully, we might be able to get something in. But if not, thank God anyway. I tell you, we still, we yet alive and well. And with the weather as it is, it's uh, hard to plan uh, to be in where anyway. So, we just thank God for being alive and well and able to uh, encourage one another. And that is what I encourage you to do as always. Um, let me see. Where is my little butter brush? I need my butter brush, Sue Chef. Let's see now. <clears throat> Found my butter brush. Okay. So I'm just going to simply take um, this is just some melted butter. Mm. I think I did these just right. If I had gone ahead with that full time, that's why I said it's good. You have to check your food. And because I'm not familiar with this particular food, that much um i need to just check them so they've been brushed with butter they've been kissed with the cooking breath of life which to me is butter and seasonings of course so the food is ready we're gonna sit back relax and enjoy my fries are ready as a matter of fact since i got the butter melted i'm gonna go ahead and brush these fries but y'all knew I was going to do this thing. Y'all knew I was going to do this. <laughs> y'all knew I was going to do something. I wasn't going to let the rest of that butter go to waste. That's for sure. No, I knew it wasn't going to go to waste. It was going to go back in the fridge. But who knew? We need that butter on these fries. Somebody asked me, did you put add butter to the cheese? And I said, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Absolutely did. You know, that little bit much is not going to hurt nothing. So, mm, 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 mm. y'all hear that crunch? These are wonderful, y'all. They're crunchy. Mm. That's good, though. Mm. Okay. Y'all, excuse me. I had to take a little station break there. Okay, y'all, the food is ready. I got my um, waffle fries that I fried, deep fried in uh, vegetable oil and olive oil. I've got my stir fried veggies over here on the other side there that I stir fried in olive oil. And of course, this is my new thing, my, um, <clears throat> excuse me, my Angus beef cheeseburgers in pita pockets that I purchased from Sam's Club. They were already fully cooked, just pop them in the oven, heat them up, and we're ready to eat, and I brushed them with butter. So, thank y'all for tuning in. Hope y'all got something going on on your stove. If you get a chance, pop on over to Sam's Club and grab those Angus Pita Pocket Burgers. And I also purchased the um, waffle fries also. Well, everything came from Sam's Club for that matter. Anyway, y'all know Sam's Club. It's a good place to shop. I don't have any food line stuff on here today, but I guarantee you I will tomorrow. So, listen, y'all. Uh, be good to somebody today and especially be good to yourself. Get in that kitchen to cook you something nice and uh, short and sweet, but something good and yummy. 
and then yeah, you know, make you feel better. And anyway, uh, about the uh, processed foods, y'all, this is something I don't do often, but it's something that I will do when I feel like I want to or need to. So today we're doing processed foods. Anywho, y'all, love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, for giving me all the beautiful, wonderful feedback that you do, for standing with me in the gap and praying for our sisters and brothers as we pray for each other. And if we do that, we'll all be lifted up. Okay, so until I decide to cook again, which will be tomorrow on the flavor train, keep those prayers going up, y'all, so the blessings will continue to come down. Go ahead and cook you something good to eat now. Love you guys. To Lou.